Hello, you name me. I'm Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number six. Today, we are going to cover some libraries from the libraries sections in Coding Nighter. Make sure this is the Coding Nighter series and this is the fast track uh, to learn the Coding Nighter. Uh, why I'm saying the fast track? Because we are going to cover the maximum things in minimum time but step by step so you can easily understand how can you create your web application or applications using coding nighter okay in the last lecture you learned how can you create your controllers models uh, or how can you uh, use the mvc design patterns or in simple words mvc pattern uh, so you load you have loaded uh, your model you can see i have uh, in the i have come i have <coughs> you can see i have created a, con a controller which is the new controller.php and uh, i am loading a model so you can see i have a model and uh, now I, in the model by using this model i'm saying this mode home and i'm calling this method you can see we have a method here okay so now we are receiving the some data from the model so that's why we are saving th that data inside the variable and now we are loading the view and we are sending the data to our view and in the view you can see we are just echoing our data here in this lecture we are going to cover uh, the calendar class and the email class or the libraries. Okay, so I'm going to close this controller model home. So now you can see I am at the home.php or in simple words home controller. You can see CI controller. Okay, so what you need I'm saying and this time I'm saying this load and i'm saying library so which library i'm going to load you have to provide the specific library by whenever you want to load the library you can see this load library so and this time i'm saying the calendar sorry i've just changed my keyboard so that's why it's happening i'm saying the calendar library go to your url make sure now i am at the home controller and uh, you can see in your by going application config folder routes.php i'm saying whenever someone uh, access the uh, root directory load this home controller okay now sorry controller home go to your root file you can see nothing is happening because uh, we are just loading the calendar now i'm saying this and i'm saying calendar and now i'm going to call a specific method which is uh, generate okay by calling this method and now echo so refresh your page you can see by calling this method this is a specific methods it's showing you the calendar so this is the beauty of framework so you don't need to uh, create the logic how can you create your calendar what is the logic behind uh, that so you don't worry about it uh, coding nighter uh, create all of this for you okay so now uh, you have your generate how can you show a specific date for suppose by you can pass some parameters here for suppose i am saying oh print me 2017 year and uh, six months okay refresh the page you can see it's 2007 seven and this is six months so you can see you have your calendar for suppose if i'm saying 2018 today is uh, uh, 
March 29. So that's why I'm saying three. Refresh the page. You can see we uh, today is 29 March 2018. So you can see 29 March 2018. Okay. So in this way you can create the you can generate the calendar. So how can you create the links uh, inside your calendar date? So uh, it's very easy. First of all, create your uh, array. And uh, this is the associative array. Make sure. And now I'm saying three. And here I'm saying, uh, for suppose, jz.com comma separate now I'm saying 7 and now I'm saying 21 so you can say the google.com and you can say the facebook.com okay now you can pass this associative array uh, I'm going to store this associative array inside the variable. I'm saying option. Now, I'm going to pass this options, this associative array in the third parameter. Okay. So now, re re refresh the page. You can see you have three links at the third date, seven date, 21 date. Third date, seven date, 21 date. Here's the, hit this third date. You can see it's now opening shakesy.com so in the third date you have a shakesy.com seven date you have google.com and 21 date you have facebook.com okay so in this way uh, you can uh, create your uh, calendar or you can generate your calendars okay so uh, you can uh, also set some settings by Go to your documentation. So you are we are working on coding net three libraries calendars. You can see uh, you can set your links or you can uh, setting uh, some display for suppose Saturday long short or you can do many things. You can see they they have a lot of uh, documentations here you can find. But this is the basics. In this way you can create your or you can generate your calendar okay so now we are going to talk about email class so what email class does you can send your emails by calling your email class so you don't need to uh, embed your third party library libraries okay so now I am going to comment this section and I am going to load the library I'm saying this load in this time I'm saying library now I'm saying which library I have to load I'm saying the email library okay the email library so once you load your email library then you call some specific methods okay I'm saying uh, I have just loaded the library so that's why I'm saying this email now I have to call the from method so what is the form method it takes few parameters that means the email uh, which you, you are sending the email to your client that means uh, at the client side you are saying the email is your at hotmail.com or your site.com the name of your organization for suppose shakesy now I'm saying this email to so I'm saying I want to send this email to my client which client I'm saying client at hotmail.com okay so you can use your cc or this email and i'm saying in this time cc you can use another email here 
and BCC make sure okay another email here you can also use these two okay so now I'm going to send the email to my specific client okay so uh, you can use your subject as well this email so what is the subject I'm saying my subject and you can pass your data this email and I'm saying message so what is your message I'm saying testing and now you have to send this email I'm saying this email send that means you are saying you are sending the email to this client your subject is this your data is this or at the client side your client will view your email like this your email at hotmail.com make sure this is this okay so everything is working fine refresh the page you can see uh, it's saying oh fail to connect to mail server because you have to provide the server uh, requirement the configurations of your server for suppose if you are sending the email from your www.shakezy.com then then you have to create the config and in the config sections you can see you can mention your protocol for suppose protocol and your mail path and your character set uh, and your world rev whatever you want to uh, configure and you can use your protocol And for suppose mail path, and you, you just need to email, and I'm saying initialize. And you can pass this configurations here. Okay, now you can send your emails here okay so go to your con uh, coding editor first of all you can go to your documentation okay so go to your library sections and go to your email email class you can see uh, you can set your email address you can send your email address you can uh, setting email preferences like this and you can set your email preference preferences like your preferences user agent protocol mail smtp host or smtp user smtp password and a lot of things available here okay so this is the basic uh, things you can uh, create your email and you can send your email address by calling by loading the email class make sure when uh, we work on the login or sign up system so then I will discuss you or I will teach you how can you send your uh, email your real-time emails from your server so don't worry I'm going to explain each and everything in my letters lecture so I think this is enough for today so thank you for watching